Hey, Lauren Hughes here with Integrity Home Group and Keller Williams Preferred. Let's talk about credit scores. So I actually just got an email in my inbox today from Experian and they told me my credit score had gone down four points. And well, that just ticks me right off because I work so hard at keeping that credit score high. And so for anyone that's trying to get out a mortgage loan, refinance, buy a motorcycle, pay for your vet care through the the credit line that you now ha seem to have to get to afford any anything these days. Uh, so credit scores do matter and I'm actively monitoring mine with Experian due to the credit or the the big breach from a year or two ago. My time's a little warped because of 2020. <laughs> um, and I just got an email from Experian. I did the free service. I don't actually pay. I think it's $24.99 and so today I wanted to go over a little bit about what alerts that I look at and that I get for monitoring my credit and how I watch it so closely and in just in full transparency I'm gonna pan over to what I'm looking at real fast and if you happen to be watching this video and know how to do the little like add the little bullets or boxes right here for when I'm talking and fancy YouTube people let me know because I'm never going to do that, but I will work with someone that will make that for me. So in transparency, or I try to be transparent, the desk is a mess, but I want to show you quickly what I keep, I'm going to keep referencing in this video. So this is, I'm looking at the credit report right here with a bunch of numbers, and that's what I'm going to keep looking at right now. So my court score did go down four points, which is a little frustrating, but by no means a game breaker or game changer. But what it went down or it went down because my debt to my credit usage went up uh, because of how my credit card cycled. Now I pay all my bills on time every month. However, I've started to just pay them once a month and they're on auto pay. But my score actually went down to four points today because the credit agency or my credit cards just reported my new balances to the credit bureaus. And even though everything's on time, my credit usage is up compared to my um, credit limits. And so it actually makes my score go down even though I'm still paying everything on time. So one way to get around that and to stop getting those, you know, these are small dings. I mean, I'd say under 10 points, but if you're on one of the cusps of the good, the bad, or the, you know, very good or moderate credit or excellent credit, it can mean several points or hundreds of dollars every month, depending on what you're financing. So we do want to watch even those little changes. And I could avoid that little four point net, um, drop that my credit score just went to is if I did two payments every month, which I think is pretty cool, even though the payment isn't technically due, let's say until the 30th, if you make an additional payment on the 15th, you're gonna have a lower credit usage. Um, even though it's not due and it's still your money until the 30th, uh, if you pay it. So that's just, that's one tip to get, that'll, that can alter your uh, credit score, I would say by about 10%. I've never had it, I'm trying to think the most that I've seen is probably six or eight points, but that was usually with a pretty heavy duty credit card bill that's paid. So that's one tri uh, tip to just kind of have it a little bit of wiggle room around 10 points every month. So t stay tuned. I've got about five different parts of this video. So thank you and I'll see you in just a minute.